All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update. Now, I am on the push for 20,000 subs, and I can only do that with your help. If you're a longtime subscriber and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? And once you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I have new videos go up. And for anybody who's new, if you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. It would help out my channel a lot. All right, now I have to laugh because right after I got my video done yesterday, some information came out that James Gunn was going to be going to the New York Comic Con. And I had one person specifically go into my comments berating me for not mentioning that in my video. And I had to let them know, and just for anybody who knows and understands how videos are created and how information works, if you don't have the information for the video, you can't present it. If that information isn't out yet, it can't be in the video. And videos don't just go poof and they're up. So I do the best job I can with the information that I get. And we're going to look at some interesting stuff here today. First of all, I'm going to let everybody know James Gunn is still out there being James Gunn. He does not care about anything but his stuff. And I am going to prove it once again in today's video. But let's take a look at the stuff that I have grabbed since yesterday's update. First up, we have more stuff coming out about the Constantine sequel, which should be an Elseworlds project. It says, the script to Constantine 2 is complete, says producer Lorenzo D. Bonaventura. You know it's in my inbox right now. Funny enough, I'm too scared to read it, though. I want it to be good so bad. I probably read it. I'll, I'll, I probably will read it in the next few days when I get on an airplane. So the script is done. This movie should be moving forward, but it has not been officially greenlit yet. But we all assume that Keanu Reeves is coming back, and this movie is supposed to be a pretty hard R. So here it is. Wow, look at that. It's my second photo that I grabbed after doing my last update. Oh, shame on me for not having clairvoyant skills to be able to bring this to you during a video when I don't even know what's happening. So James Gunn posted this yesterday, and I want you to see how much he is posting what he is saying here, because this is going to be important to a photo I'm going to show in a few minutes. 10-19 at the New York City Comic Con. Join me, Frank Grillo, David Harbour, Zoe Chow, Sh Sean Gunn, Dean Laurie, and Steve G for the Creature Commandos panel, and we'll fill you in on all the details of our monster army and the seeds of the DCU. And you can see the picture here for the Creature Commandos. Wow, look at this. There is no mention of Superman, guys. I have a feeling they're not even going to talk about Superman, really, at the Comic-Con or show you anything in regards to Superman. It is all going to be a push about Creature Commandos because that's about the time it gets released. And what's crazy about this is are some other posts coming up for projects that are actually happening sooner than this. And we're going to see how James Gunn treats those projects. More news on The Batman 2. The Batman 2 is going to take place a week after the conclusion of The Penguin, during the winter. The Penguin story plays out over the next weeks that take you towards the end of the year. We don't play Christmas or New Year's, but we're getting there. Via Collider and Total Film. Now, a lot of people are jazzed about this taking place in the winter. People are assuming that this is going to have Mr. Freeze in it, which I would be thrilled about. I would be thrilled to see Mr. Freeze taken seriously in this specific world. I think it would be a lot of fun. He is my favorite villain by far. There was also a, a little uh, interview that I saw with Matt Reeves saying that the Batman is considered to be a trilogy, that they do plan on doing a third film. That's if James Gunn lets him do it. I have a feeling he's not going to. But if, they, if he's allowed to, he will plan a third film and they said they had to retool this because originally there was not going to be a Penguin TV show but the studio came to him and wanted him to flesh all of this out and he talked about how every time they they introduce a villain in this world it's always going to be the beginning of that villain and so it's their origin story and so the studio thought it would be a good idea to do a Penguin specific origin story on how he came to rise to power which said that made Matt Reeves have to rethink how he was going to do the second film because that was going to be a big portion of the second film. But now the Penguin story will be fleshed out by the time the second film starts. So he said he had to shift and uh, write the story in accordance with that. But they do plan on making this a trilogy and hopefully with more shows. 
but I just don't have faith in Gunn allowing, allowing it to get that far. So the reviews are coming in, and Matt Reeves posted this yesterday. Notice that even Matt Reeves put three penguins in there. Oh, wow. But here's the Variety article. It says, a masterful examination of criminality. The penguin is twisted, disturbing, and deeply enthralling. Read our full review. It says, Colin Farrell's The Penguin is a mesmerizing crime, crime drama that moves beyond Batman. So this is pretty good. There are a lot of good reviews coming out for this, and not so good reviews. We're going to take a look at what some people have been saying about this later in this in this uh, story here. So again, more on Constantine 2. It says, producer confirms the script is complete for Constantine 2. Uh, it, it still says here, like I said a few minutes ago, that it's unknown if DC Studios will green light the project or not. So there's no guarantee this is going to happen. They want to see the script, but do you remember what James Gunn said in a previous video? Only if they really think the script is something special. Something special. To me, and from what I've seen, nothing is special to Gunn except for Gunn stuff. Now, I'm not familiar with Lucy at all. I don't know how you say her name. It looks like Lucy Cherniak is reportedly in talks to direct episodes, not all of them, but episodes of DC Studios' Lanterns. She is best known for Sunny, The End of the Effing World, and Angeline. Now, I am not familiar with any of these projects. I couldn't tell you if she does a good job. Hey, if any one of my viewers is familiar with any of these projects, please let me know how she is as a director. I would love to know how her directing is. All right, so here is James Gunn's post in regards to The Penguin, which, mind you, releases here one week from today. James Gunn just puts one penguin in his reply. If you look at everything else that James Gunn does as the CEO of of DC Studios, anything that is his, even stuff that he's already done in the past, like the Suicide Squad, or even over in Marvel with the Guardians of the Galaxy 3, he'll post these big, long things. But whenever it comes to anything outside of his stuff, this is what he does. And you have to remember when the first trailer for this came out, he didn't even post it. He did a day later, and he claimed that where they were filming Superman that they didn't have internet access, which is not true. They would never go out to a remote location where they don't have internet access. It doesn't take long to to post a video and to share it. And he was actually on social media that day posting other things, and he couldn't even put up the original trailer. I keep telling you guys, I already showed you what he put on for the Comic-Con, which doesn't even happen yet for several months or a little over a month now. Well, about a month away. He promotes all that, but something that's happening a week from now, he can't do more to promote it and talk about how awesome it is? Really? Really. He is the head of DC Studios. He cannot just be about his stuff. He can't. He is incapable, incapable of promoting anything outside of his stuff. It's really sad to see. Now, I don't know who this person is, but Hannah Counton Barnes said, I've watched all eight episodes of The Penguin, and it's the best superhero universe TV series I've seen since Daredevil, and perfect for those who wanted a rated R version of The Batman. Watch it. You won't regret it. Now, I don't know who this person is, but uh, that sounds very promising. I will have my review up I, I'm, I don't know if all the episodes are going to drop. If they all drop next week, I'm going to watch all of them and get my review up within the first, you know, 48 to 72 hours. So I will be doing a review. If it's only the first couple of episodes, I might have to do a week-by-week review of what, uh, what these episodes are and what I thought of them. All right, so here we got from Variety. It says, Colin Farrell isn't running to do the Penguin Season 2. He says, I don't know, man. Don't get me wrong. I loved it. But it got to me a little bit. By the end, I was bitching and moaning to everyone who listened to me that I effing wanted it to be finished. And that's because he had to wear that prosthetic suit. I talked about that in a previous video. Here's more proof that James Gunn doesn't care about anything other than his stuff. Superman and Lois was planned to run for at least, at least seven seasons. And it is ending with season four, which should be premiering pretty dang soon. Again. It's all about James Gunn. Now, this video has been posted around all over the place, and it shows basically Peter Safran. He's actually there in the center of the screen, uh, the, the one that's facing away from us. And this is when they were talking about Shazam, and you have uh, the uh, director 
And he was spe- the, the director was specifically asked, who is your favorite Batman? He's like, look, I, I grew up with the Keaton Batman, so I'm partial to Keaton. But he goes, my favorite Batman is Ben Affleck. And you should have seen Peter Safran. He stood there stone faced. He's like, "What? You don't even mention, you don't even mention uh, uh, the, what's his name who played it for? Gosh, I can see his face. Why am I can't think of his name right now? Uh, the one who played it for the Nolan trilogy. And he's like, "Wow, you can mention two, but you can't mention him." And you got to remember, this was something that was asked of the director. Peter Safran should have kept his mouth shut. But it shows you his disdain. I do believe it shows the disdain for the DCEU. They, they wanted these guys gone. They, they, just, they just wanted the DCEU to go away. They just did. Now, this came from IGN. And I'm going to say before I, I read this that I don't trust IGN as far as I could throw them. Their reviews are really wonky. Like, seriously. They're not as bad as Rotten Tomatoes. But... It says, the mob drama being built around Oz requires something grander and more operatic to succeed. Unfortunately, the Penguin lacks the chops, the wit, and the wings to reach those heights. It says, the limited series worships at the altars of the Godfather, Goodfellas, Scarface, the Sopranos, and Breaking Bad. But Sophia's family are no Corleones. Oz is no Tony. And in these eight episodes, they're not given the time or space to get anywhere near close to those crime drama landmarks. So that's IGN. We'll see when it gets released. Like I said, I will be watching it and reviewing it. All right, guys, there you have it. All the DC goodness for the day. I do appreciate the support. If I don't have another video this weekend, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. If anything big breaks, I will be putting up more videos. I do appreciate all the support. And once again, I am pushing for that 20,000 subs. And I can only do that with your help. I do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.